Do you have a PayPal account? Have you ever sold anything through your PayPal account? Have you ever done any affiliate marketing? Have you sold your own products or services? Perhaps there's money sitting in your PayPal account that's owed to you. It could be from years ago and you don't know how to get it. So I'm going to show you in this quick video how to go into your PayPal account and collect on those payments and get a whole bunch of money that was owed to you could be hundreds, could be even thousands of dollars. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So what you need to do is log into your PayPal account first. Okay, go ahead and do that. And then uh, what you need to do is go up here to Tools. Okay, and just go down to the All Tools heading under the Main Tools section there. Okay. So go ahead and click on, on that, and then it's going to take you to this page, okay? What you need to do now is just scroll down just a little bit, and you're going to see um, recurring payments, okay? Now, um, you're going to find all your payments under here once I show you how to do this. So just go ahead and go this way. Click on recurring payments, okay? And uh, this is where people don't really go in their PayPal account. This is let's call it the dark basement of PayPal okay now here um, I've had to blur some stuff out so I'm not using people's real names and stuff in my video um, but as you can see there's you know all my uh, um, billing plans here whether they've been cancelled active suspended whatever okay and it shows 25 per page you can go ahead and click on the next page to go to 25 more I have hundreds in here um, but what you want to do is go to this section here at the top where it says outstanding payments now you'll see that I have 272 here and hey I do this all the time so I you probably have a lot of outstanding payments owed to you as well if you've done any type of internet marketing sold any products if you've ever had any recurring products for sale that people have canceled but they didn't pay for the month that they owed for or anything like that it's gonna show up here okay so what you need to do is click on outstanding payments okay go ahead and click on that and it's gonna take you to the same page but it's gonna filter out all the active ones uh, that don't owe money and it's gonna show only active and cancelled and suspended accounts uh, and billing plans that owe you money okay now what I'm going to save you some time here. If it says cancelled, you can't do this. Okay, If the customer has cancelled the billing plan, it's not going to allow you to do this little trick. But any of the ones that are active that have missed a payment or any of the ones that say suspended and active, you can do this with. Okay, So what you need to do is once you're on this page, let's just um, let's go to this one for example. Now it says he owes me $15 uh, for the last time he was billed but that doesn't mean that's what he owes me he might owe me more because he may have missed two payments so it could be thirty dollars or more let's go take a look let's click on this person's name over here in the left okay you just click on the person's name and now you're gonna see their billing arrangement with you okay now there's some important things to do here uh, looks like I've already done it for this person but I'll just go ahead and show you anyway uh, down here PayPal is set to default as um, add payments to the next bill no and uh, suspend after one payment failure what that means is if they miss a payment or they don't have enough money in their account not only do you not get their the money they owe you but PayPal automatically cancels or uh, suspends the billing plan so they're not even going to try to get your money for you later so there might be a lot of money sitting in your PayPal account that you don't really know about hiding down here in the basement that you can get okay so what you want to do is first of all change this so that it says yes please go ahead and add any money they owe me to the next bill okay and you want to change this to no limit failure okay so that no matter how many times they miss a payment it keeps trying that way if they add money to their PayPal account or get their credit card sorted out the payment will go through okay to do that you just click on change okay I'll just go ahead and do it for you even though I've already done it I'll just show you how it works here you go to change and in here 
There's a drop down menu. This is set to no as default. Change it to yes. Um, this is set to suspend after one failure. Just click on the no limit button there and then go ahead and hit save. Okay, now I've already done it, so I'll just hit cancel. But you go ahead and hit save after you've changed those two things. Okay? Now, you also want to um, you want to restart the billing plan uh, because it hasn't been canceled, it's only been suspended. Okay? Now to reactivate it, you're going to go up here to the top. Now, see mine says suspend because this one's already been reactivated by me. Okay? But yours, if it's been suspended, will say reactivate here. Go ahead and click that link and it will automatically reactivate the billing plan. So if they owe you monthly, guess what's going to happen? Next month their billing plan is going to start up again and start putting that money back in your account. Okay? Now here's the most important part. This is where you get money right now, okay? Look at this, outstanding balance. He owes me $45, this one person. I have hundreds of these in here, okay? So I check this a couple times a week, and I go through this process, and sometimes I see two, three, four hundred dollars $400 show up in my PayPal account overnight, okay? Sometimes it only takes a few minutes. All right. So what you need to do is just go ahead and click on collect balance. Okay. Then it will pop up this little window and it'll say you're about to collect the outstanding balance. Are you sure you want to collect the outstanding balance? Of course we're sure. That money is owed to us and we want it. So go ahead and click on the collect button. Okay. And it will process the um, submission. And it'll say right up here at the top. Here you go. Look at this. It says, you have submitted the request to bill the outstanding balance of $45 USD. It may take a few minutes before this payment status reflects on your account. Some, uh, sometimes I find it's five minutes. Sometimes I find it's 24 hours. But just be patient and make sure you go through all your billing plans like this because there is a lot of money sitting in your PayPal account down here in the basement that PayPal has suspended the billing plan for. You didn't want it suspended. You want them to pay. And you also want it to add any outstanding amounts to their next bill. Okay, so go ahead and change that information. Reactivate the billing plan. And then go ahead and click, to, click on the collect balance and get your money. Okay? And that's all there is to it, folks. It's that simple. You go back and check your PayPal account in an hour or so or the next day, and if those people owed you money and PayPal can see that there's money in their account now or they have a valid credit card attached to the account, they will bill that person and the money will show up in your account. Okay? Now, um, I have some as, as old as three years that I've checked and it will not let me do it for those ones but anything I've clicked on and gone through this process that's even a year and a half up to two years old it will still process okay so you could have money that uh, let's say somebody ordered a recurring product or service through your PayPal account and they paid for one maybe two months of it and then they didn't have enough money the, the account the billing plan gets suspended automatically that's how PayPal is set up default so you have to come in here for each billing plan and change this to no limit failure so it will never cancel you need to change this to yes so if they owe two or three payments it will add all of them to their next bill okay and of course you need to reactivate the billing plan if it's been suspended and then you can go ahead and collect the balance Okay, I like to do it in that order. That way I don't forget anything. You can just collect the balance, but it's much smarter to make sure you're going to get your money uh, next month as well by, by changing this to no limit and make sure you get any outstanding money by changing this to yes. It's also very important to reactivate the suspended billing plan so that it continues paying you the next month and the next month. Okay, and if it's annual, uh, somebody paid for something annually, it'll work that way too. Uh, it'll automatically, when you do uh, the collect balance, it will take the money they owe you now and put it in your PayPal account right now. And then uh, a year from now or whenever their renewal date is, it will go ahead and bill them again.
Okay, so PayPal is set up default to suspend a billing plan immediately after one missed payment. They could be two dollars short of making their payment in PayPal, and PayPal go ahead. PayPal goes ahead without even telling you and uh, suspends the billing plan. I, I think they do actually send an email that says you didn't get your money, but it doesn't say anything about how to correct the situation and how to collect your money. Okay, so please go ahead and do this. It's really important that you go ahead and get your money that's owed to you. If you have tried this process, I would really appreciate it if you comment on this video after and tell me how much money did you get out of this process? Did it help you? Did this video help you? If this video gave you some information that helped you or showed you something you didn't know, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so I can share more of these videos and help me feed my cats. You can also click the like button, the thumbs up button, and I would really appreciate that too because that helps me get this video out to other people that have been screwed by people that haven't paid up what they owe. Okay? So you're helping others and uh, it won't affect you in any way if you share this video. So share it on Facebook and Twitter for me. Let's get this information out because I have not seen anybody else tell anybody about how to do this and get money owed to you. If you've been doing internet marketing or sales or affiliate marketing at all and you've had recurring payments or even single payments that are owed to you through PayPal, there's no way to know unless you follow this process and go ahead and find them and collect on them. Okay? So hope this video helped you. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some time spots down in the description so if you need to jump back to a certain part of this video you can go ahead and do that in the description box below. I'll put uh, time uh, links so that you can jump to a certain spot in this video if you need to watch this again. Okay? Please share the video. Please click the like button for me and definitely subscribe to my channels because I'm going to share a lot more of this stuff with you. And if you subscribe, you're helping me feed my cats. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.